What up everyone, it's Ketan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. Today I'm sharing my thoughts on the recently released film Princess of God. Now you may not have heard of this film because this is an independent Sikh film. It wasn't released in cinemas so um, what they did is that they couldn't find a distributor so they got DVDs out and about. Um, so I was lucky enough to have an opportunity to go and watch it um, and we saw it in a community centre and whatnot. And overall, I'm just going to share my thoughts on the film, get it out there so people know about it. And really, this film, it's a mixed bag, to be honest. It's The film is divided into two parts because there's an intermission in the middle. So I refer to the first part as the first half of the movie and the second as the second half of the movie. And overall, if this movie was just the first half of the movie with about 10-15 minutes more, I think it'd be a really good movie. It'd be an 8 out of 10, I would say. But there are so many things in the second half of the movie which really just jumble up the story and just mess up the whole film itself and really bring it down in quality. Obviously, I'm Punjabi, I'm a Sikh, I do understand the Punjabi language, but it is important to note that there could have been moments where I would have um, misunderstood a translation as if there were no subtitles, so I was going off my own translations in my head. And really, so keep in mind that there are there's room for error in my understanding of scenes. With that said, I'm going to be focusing more on the execution of the film itself. Speaking about the execution of the film itself, I think the cinematography is, for the most part, really great. I love the color grading to show the scenes from the um, past and the present. There's a distinct difference in the color grading. The one problem that there is, is that there, for some reason, sometimes the camera just stays in one position but it cuts and it cuts into the camera staying in that position. It doesn't cut to a different angle. It's really jarring in a film. The one other problem I had with the film in the sense of it's being made in its making um, is that they rely so heavily on fade to black and music fading out that it comes a little too heavy handed. Um, so it's fine doing it for emotional impact and such, but when you do it, it really too much it really breaks up the flow of the movie and it does that too often where the music fades down and it's clearly just fading out to nothing and the fades to black instead there could be music transitions which the film does do at one or two points so I know they're capable of doing it but I just would have loved it more often than always fading to black and fading the music out nonetheless the acting in this movie is pretty good it's pretty standard for a independent um, brown Punjabi movie and obviously it's important to remember for those of you that aren't Punjabi or brown that this is on a different scale to a Hollywood movie so you don't watch a um, Bollywood or brown movie expecting it to be the same as a Hollywood movie so it's important to keep that in mind the characters of course there are moments of over-the-top acting which is present in almost every form of brown media but there's nothing much to be done there Talking about the second half, which I said really just weighs the film down, is that uh, the story gets really jumbled up. Um, it relies too heavily on this flashback, which I think has nothing to do with the actual main character of Helene itself. Unlike in the first half, where the flashback really helped and made sense with the story of Helene, the second flashback came after uh, Helene... Um, had troubles with a friend who was questioned, which brought up the fact that she may have returned to um, physically looking like a really um, strong Sikh believer, but inside she's still the same person. So then she went and saw the spirit of um, the lady from the past. I can't remember the names. The only name I remember is Helene. But um, basically she saw her, and I think the scenes with spirits, um, one of the relatives of Helene who does pass away, and also the spirit from the past, I think they're all really well shot with how the um, lighting is done and how the environment is built so you know that it is the past and that we're visiting a spirit or someone from the afterlife. But returning to the second half of the film, the problem is that the flashback doesn't feel like it relates to the problem Helene is experiencing and along with that we never actually see that friend that questioned her again. So I don't really understand what the story was trying to do there. I feel like it was trying to expand itself too much and really tell more of a story and really show off more of that flashback and really just just go somewhere where it didn't need to go, really. If the movie just kept to the first half and added in 15 minutes of resolving the plot 
where she came, comes back as a Sikh and confronts the people who tried to kidnap her, who did kidnap her, but also was going to rape her, and then ended it with a resolution with them, um, then it would have been a good movie. It would have been an 8 out of 10. I would have given her F, F. That was handled properly. But then also the budget that was put into the second half would have gone into the first half and it would have really enhanced all of those scenes which I talked about with the cutting and the editing. You would have had the money to really put more into that. There's also a scene where the loved one who get, passes away, they're hit by a car, and everyone's circling the dead body, and that's fine, that happens in movies. But there's one guy standing off right next to the circle of people. He's standing off right there, and he's looking in the other direction, and he's just ignoring the fact that someone was run over, and I don't know why that guy was standing there. I'm sure they, maybe they should have tried to get him to move, because he looks so out of place. And all I could see, as Helene was running towards the crowd of people, I just noticed the one guy who was just ignoring the fact that someone got hit by a car and was just facing the other way. Nonetheless, if you took out the second half, moved the budget across, I think it would have been an amazing, an amazing movie. So with the second half as well, one of the problems is that we see the guy who tried to rape her again, um, but this time he's got like a sword to his neck and suddenly out of nowhere, the guy who's holding the sword gets pushed back because like rocks get thrown at him or something. But then there's no one there who threw the rock because the Sikh just comes from the corner. And it's like, well then who the hell threw the rocks at him or blasted him with whatever. It doesn't make any sense. It's dramatic. It just doesn't work though in a film, obviously. And then I don't get why that guy had the sword to his neck, what the girl was doing being kidnapped. I don't know anything of what's going on there. Last I saw this guy who had the sword to his neck, the guy who tried to rape Helene. He was like, oh no, Helene, like he backed off from Helene and that was like, it's just too convoluted and it doesn't make any sense at all. So overall, I think this film was good, but there's so much in the second half of the film that just brings it down and really just takes me out of the film. So overall, I'm going to give this a 5 or a 6 out of 10. First half was really good, really entertaining, although there was quite a cliche um, first half. There's nothing wrong with the film being a cliche. So I'm sure most of you that are watching this video, most of my subscribers, you probably haven't seen Princess of God or even heard of it. If you get the chance, do check it out, but do be prepared that it's going to be different from a Hollywood movie because it is made in a different culture, made with different perspective. And of course, some things that I brought up may have been incorrect because of mistranslation and such, but I tried to focus mostly on the making of the film itself and the visual storytelling as much as possible. So nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And let me know in the comment section down below if you have seen this film, what did you think about it? And if you haven't, you know, that's fine. Just hit the like button and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.